Hello once again, it is Jespo here, and welcome back to another tale from the land of Orborian. As you may recall from my previous episodes, things were going wonderfully. I had managed to recruit a whole bunch of my friends to join the server, and we had begun to get to it. Us nine companions were busy gathering resources, making money, and preparing to build up our land. Speaking of building, that was my first objective for the day. The first thing I wanted to do before I started anything else was upgrade my netherite store. Initially I had cooked up the shop in only a few seconds and I hadn't bothered to decorate it, so I definitely needed to come back and make it better. Luckily, the job wasn't that difficult and it only took a small amount of building to make a decent looking store. I also added three new products to the shop while I was at it, blackstone, basalt, and netherrack. I would pick up lots of these materials while mining for netherite and I decided it would be better to sell them rather than just let them sit around in my chests. After that I was feeling the passion for building and I decided I would continue on my block placing spree. My next project would be to start on the foundation of the city of Nador. Before we could start building up the city I needed to make a platform to build on so I got to work making that. Also quick side note I wanted to include here, I absolutely hate phantoms. Who the heck would ever have voted for these things? They are the literal worst. After starting on building the foundation, I soon realized my netherite store had already been bought out, so I needed to get to work on restocking that. It wasn't great to be interrupted while building, but in the end, I couldn't complain because it did show a promising start to all of my business ventures. Once I had restocked my store, I decided it wasn't a bad time to head down to the Newport Darkroom to grind more mobs. I wanted to stay down there for a while and hopefully level up my character at least once and gather a little sharp flint. Everything seemed to be going fine down there, for a grand total of 5 minutes. It was then that something I had never expected to happen came out of nowhere. What on... Oh, that, so, yeah, that's a giant phantom outside. Wait, what? what the? What is this? Are you... Ooh, this this is is so huge. I think this is someone. What do you mean? This has to be. This what? has to be someone. There is a giant the last, phantom outside. Is this the last outside. shadow? Hold up, yeah, I want to check this out. Oh, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the last shadow. Kill that's it! That's the last shadow. Kill hold it, up. kill it. Hold Person, up, hold we up. need help. Pearson. Oh my goodness. Get I'm going! Oh, I'm going! I'm going! <laughs> no, who's that? Get back here, boy! Oh my god, I'm I going! You. No, Get, back no. here, son. Get back here! Get back here! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! Where is it? Where did he go? Uh, keep going that way. Might Where is it? Okay. Where is it? I think Where it despawned. It despawned. It despawned. No, no I missed it. That was definitely it. a player. That was definitely a player. I missed it. I had turned up just too late to witness what had happened. My friends claimed to have seen this giant phantom flying around in the skies above our base. This malevolent creature had shown up out of the blue and then swooped down to attack them, and it even rained literal fire on them from above. The accounts they gave of this mysterious creature were to say the least harrowing, and things were only about to get even stranger. In the chat it was becoming apparent that what had happened to my friends was not an isolated case. All across Ouroborean citizens were reporting sightings of the exact same creature. What exactly it was, nobody knew, but one name for this thing persisted in the chat, the Harbinger. I immediately knew that I needed to find out more about this Harbinger. Harbinger is a word used to describe a person or a thing that announces the coming of something else, but what was the purpose of this one? Was it an omen of good fortune or ill tidings? The first piece of information I managed to find regarding this thing was a discord post by the server owner Stony Rock. I had known about this post for a while now, but I hadn't cared about it too heavily up until this moment. Seeing that times were getting strange, I decided to go back to give it a thorough read through. Attention all citizens of Ouroborean. It is with great concern that we must announce the imminent arrival of a great horde of evil that is drawing closer to our lands. This horde is led by a powerful spirit known as the Last Shadow. This individual has gained a reputation for being a fearsome and malevolent force to be reckoned with. We urge all citizens of this world to take necessary precautions and prepare for the worst. It is said that the last shadow is capable of consuming entire worlds and is master of dark magic, and his legions of twisted followers are soon to be upon us. We implore all warriors and defenders of all nations to come forth and lend their strength and knowledge to our cause. Together we must stand united against this great threat and do all we can to protect our people, our homes, our nations, and our way of life. 
We will provide updates as the situation develops, but in the meantime, please remain vigilant and do not hesitate to report any suspicious activity. We must act quickly and decisively if we are to have any hope of overcoming this impending danger. May the blessings of the first be with us all in the coming days. This news, in all honesty, was quite distressing. If we were about to come under attack by an evil force, then everything I and others had worked for was at risk. I knew that I had to prepare for whatever lay ahead. The first thing I needed to do in my preparations was figure out more about this Last Shadow. The strange harbinger people had seen was most likely an agent of the Last Shadows, so I needed to track it down and find out more about it. Ben agreed to go with me on this journey as he had been attacked by it once already and knew a little more about it. Yeah, let me show you how big this phantom was first. It was probably mm -hmm. from like the length of it was probably from here, like this block here where you're like where you're standing. Oops. Yeah. To like here. Huh. It, it was about the size of the, one of the nine by nine farm plots. Our quest to find this thing took us to Kashar, as someone had reported seeing it on the northern border of this desert land. In the capital city, we waited for the Harbinger's arrival. It was in Trav, then it went to Ramir. Now it's along the Ramir and Kashar border. So I'm thinking it's coming to Kashar. No, I thought they said the Trav. Did they say the Kashar no, Travisian it, it, Kishar, border? Yeah. It's... Yeah. And it, it did a flyby on someone. So now we just have to wait and hope mm -hmm. and kill this thing. We waited there for a good 15 minutes, but in the end, nothing happened. This dark and ominous creature was somehow managing to evade all my attempts to locate it. I think the reason it never showed itself to me was because it was afraid of just how epic I was. Feeling very disappointed and a little worried, I returned to my base for a time. I planned to do some fishing to relax and- Wait, no! The Harbinger was at Newport! Is that Newport warning that he's on his way? Oh, Wait, what? What is this about it being at Newport? Newport? I'm going, I'm going! I'm fine, you get man. To land. Newport, go, go, go! Uh, I'm going! I'm going! Go, Please. go, go! Where is this thing? Like this. I'm here! Where's an easy sleigh? I mean, it said, didn't he say it's coming? Here's some, did they say it's here or it's coming? Where is it? Where, where, where? Did we miss it yet again? I just could not find this harbinger. I was more than a little disappointed by my countless failures to locate this creature, but in the end, it was what it was. Maybe it was honestly better off that I didn't find this thing. Who knows what it would have done to me. As I came to terms with the fact I wouldn't be able to find the harbinger, I returned to my base. I wanted to continue on building the foundation so I could call that project finished. I also took the next few days to do some more mob grinding and fishing. Nothing out of the ordinary seemed to be happening now that the harbinger had disappeared, so I was gonna take it easy. I thought I was in the clear for a day or two, as nothing bizarre had happened, but my thinking was soon proved wrong while I was netherite mining to restock my shop. Wow. There's a tentacle in the middle of my build. Oh no. Uh oh. What? Should I'm I get back, back there and check it out? <laughs> I'm coming back. <laughs> Wait, where? What is oh, this? I hope it's There's stays. zombies! I'm... There's zombies! I'm coming back! Oh no! <laughs> All right, hold up. We're come on, boys! Rally the troops! Rally, rally the move. troops! On Cholson! Soldier, move! Here. What is happening? Help me! They do lots Wait, of damage. What? Why is the why is the floor bleeding? Oh. It's... Go go go! Is this back in the base? Yeah, to Cholson's build. Do you know where it is across the bay? No. No. What is this? I see stuff. Go! Go! Move! Hit these guys so much. How are they not dead? I think they're orcs. What the heck is happening? Where's the tentacle? There it is. I see it. Out of the blue, this orc raid had shown up to attack our base. I had no clue what this was, but I could tell one thing. We needed to fight. Hold up. I'm going after the tentacle. Oh, they hurt. All right, popping the shields. They throw axes. 
They're orcs, I think. Monk of air, what the heck is happening? Wow, they do hurt. Hurt. Uh, Luckily, kill the tentacle. Come on! Kill the tentacle. God. Where did he break? Got one. Holy crap, he does a lot of damage. Popping shields. Go, go, go! Ah, oh, wait, they shoot magic. It's magic. Oh, 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 I'm dead. Oh, oh my gosh. It was a long and brutal battle, but in the end, me and my friends managed to come out on top. While we had been victorious in the fight this time, one thing was for sure. This was not going to be a once-off attack. Whatever had been set into motion in Ouroborean was going to be major, and not in a particularly good way. War was coming to this land, whether I liked it or not, and I was hopeless to stop it. It was only a matter of time before something even worse happened.